Dear friends, welcome back. Today, I'd like to continue the series of one hub. The virtual box or virtual machine would be escalate my privileges. One, I think、uh, to some extent, this virtual machine is not、uh, difficult at all, and is also it's not、uh, classic. A one hub virtual machine, virtual machine. So the reason why I record this video is because I encountered one problem uh, uh, during the 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 privilege escalation stage. So、uh, if you face the similar problem, and I I hope this video can give you some help. Okay, so now let's. Get started. To save time, I have already imported this virtual machine into the virtual box. So I now I'd like to enter into the Kali Linux. As you can see over here, I have already identified the IP address of the two hundred and fifty-four. You can use the Net Discover two or other tools, similar tools. And next, I did the map scanning. I did the version scan, the scene scan, and also the default script scan. And uh, the I specify the dash p a dash as the comprehensive scan. So from the map scanning results, as we can see over here, the first open port is SSH surface. And the version information, of course, as we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. And next one is eighty, and which runs HTTP, and also has some、uh, the NFS surface. But I can tell you, we cannot get anything useful from the NFS. If you want, you can use like a show mount, like a show mount. And specify the E option, and to to see whether the virtual machine has some shares. So,、uh, of course,、uh, this time I will not do this. And now,、uh, what we are going to do next is to do some emulation for the eighty ports. I have already open up the the Firefox and、uh, open up. The page of the the home page of the virtual machine. So, okay, now we can check whether this this site this target has no bots file, right? This is always the first step when we do the emulation for the HTTP surface. So, no bots. So, as you can see,、uh, there is one file PHP bash a、uh, dot PHP. Uh, it uh, apparently this is the web shell file, right? And、uh, so from this point now, we can、uh, very easily get the foothold of the virtual machine. And this virtual machine, the as the name、uh, suggested, is just、um, uh, give us some practice on privilege escalation. The foothold. The getting for the hold is not、uh, focus of this virtual machine. Anyway, we can copy the file name and then can visit this. Access this file, as you can see at the bottom, we can run some command like id, and also we can check the Python, and also we can check the netcat, but netcat is not installed. So of course, this is the web shell. This is not normal shell. We can spawn the normal shell、uh, by set up the listener, and、uh, of course we can use the this website, yeah, pen test monkey, and we can as reference we can copy. I I as I always said, we cannot we cannot remember many many things. You know the IT world is very is full of. So much, so rich、uh, knowledge. We cannot remember all of、uh, different techniques. We just、uh, know when to use and what to use. 
And then now we can make a copy and uh, make a note onto the mouse pad, and we can check the. And I I need to check to the IP address of uh, my Kali Linux. Yeah, two hundred and fifty three. So we need to change this IP address. And also, always as always, I I'd like to change to my favorite port number, which is five five five. Okay, we have already uh, got the reverse shell command ready, and then we make a can copy, and we can run in inside this web shell. But before we run or e execute this command. We need to set up the listener, but we I'd like to go to our working directory and set up the listener sudo Okay, and now we can head over back to the web shell. Let's hit enter. And now yeah, we have already got the the reversed shell or spawned a new shell from the virtual machine. So, as you can see, uh, this uh, the this stage of getting for the hold or initial access is very, uh, very, very easy. And uh, the next thing, what we are going to do is, of course, is to elevate our privilege. And uh, we can, for example, we can like run the ID. And uh, we can go to the home directory to do some basic emulation. Yeah, there there is just only one user, and we can go to this home directory of user, Amar. Oh, sorry, I mistype. Oh, I yeah, I need to home. Amar. Yeah, we need to navigate. Into the home directory of AMA, and we can list the content of this directory. And as you can see, a very, a very important or very easy to notice file is credentials. Credentials. Txt. Okay. So my password is md5. Of course, we need to do some calculation using MD5 algorithm, and to get the password for the user Amar. Okay, and now we can maybe we can open up another new tab and go to our working directory, which is Isclate, and we can use the echo. And we can copy, and I think we can copy uh, the. The password, and uh, we can, or not not the password. This is just a string, and okay. We I we need to do not output the the nine, and then we can pipe to the command md five sum. Okay, and now we have already got the result. We can copy. And we can switch our shell to the AMA and paste the password in here. Okay, and then now we can bash I, yeah, to make this shell interactive. So, uh, what can we do? Uh, of course, we need to uh, to do more evaluation to the loot shell, right? So what can we do? We can run the sudo. Okay. So sorry, you must have a TTY to run sudo. Uh, uh, for me, uh, I like to use the Python, and uh, because we have to know the Python two exists on the virtual machine, and we can use the PTY PTY spawn. And bin bash. Okay, so this this is just I want to share with you uh, about the problem. 
when I when I t attempt to get the TTY or pseudo terminal uh, using the the Python and the PTY module, but uh, it return the error. I think uh, this I think should be um, related to the the Python two. Maybe has some problem. I but I do not know what's the actual problem. What exactly caused this error? But uh, if you want, you can make a research on this the error and uh, some like out of PTY devices. But uh, we can uh, solve this issue um, by running the Python three rather than Python two, because you can check the Python three also exists on the virtual machine and we can use can run the same command and same module python module third party pod module uh, to get the to get the pty or the terminal and we can use the import pty pty spawn okay so now as you can see we now we run the sudo, no problem, right? So this is just uh, uh, all I'd like to demonstrate in this video, or the major point, the major place I want to demonstrate for you. When if you encounter a similar problem, uh, I think uh, as I said at the very beginning of the video, uh, this virtual machine is designed to. Uh, give us practice on how to elevate our privilege. As you can see, there are so many different commands, and uh, I think we can use different commands to elevate our privilege. And you can use the the website, uh, this website. Yeah, this GTF opens website. Very wonderful when we do the. Privilege escalation, but uh, for in this video, I do not want to walk through each command. And uh, for example, like zip, you can input the zip, zip, and uh, go to the sudo section. And uh, this website will give you the instruction how to elevate your privilege by running this command, because this command in this case. Has sudo privilege, but in this video, I do not want to do that. I just show you the very, uh, very, uh, very easy one: the the shell or bin shell or bin bash. For example, like bin bash, we can use sudo and uh, bin bash. Yeah, now we are the root user, and we can go to the root directory. And got the proof or root flag. So uh, that's all I'd like to demonstrate uh, in this video. Just uh, I want to mention again, again, I didn't complete all possible ways to elevate elevate our privilege. The point, the point in this video I'd like to demonstrate is the problem. When we try to get the PTY, uh, PTY session, and uh, so that's all. And uh, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, sorry, subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. And if you have any uh, problems or anything want to uh, want to discuss with me, you can leave them in the comment uh, below. Okay, in the comment section below. So bye.